Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Political Fight Club. I'm your host, Robert Durden. Today on our late show, we're doing the jerk of the week. Shithead of the week. And today, it's two absolute heavyweights. Um, you definitely know one of them, if you've been paying any attention at all over the last day. The other one, probably not so much. So, the number one overall seed this week has to be Senator Kirsten Sinema. She yesterday voted with eight other Democrats in the Senate against the amendment for $15 minimum wage being added to Biden's relief bill. Now, that is normally enough to get you a nomination for Shithead of the Week, but she is unique in that she went up and gave her vote, her thumbs down, and she, like, curtsied when she gave her uh, vote like she was the happiest woman in the world to be able to shoot it down. It was some straight-up, like, Hunger Games capital shit. And, uh... I mean, does Marie Antoinette ring any bells? I mean, right before the Reign of Terror, she said that she, uh, we could all, or let them eat cake was her famous saying. And then the Reign of Terror came along and we, uh, they beheaded all of those aristocrats in France, French, French Revolution. Does that ring any bells for her? And then to make things worse, I think it does ring bells for her and I think she's almost trying to play the part. Because after she gave the vote, she had an enormous cake delivered to the senators for getting the bill or for shutting down $15 minimum wage and getting the bill passed. I shit you not, cake. Cake. So that's why Kirsten Cinema is in there and her career should be over. This should be enough. She was trending number one on Twitter after her little curtsy, her little cute curtsy to shoot down the minimum wage amendment. So, um, she can go straight to hell, and uh, she's definitely a number one overall seed this, this week. Now, the one you probably have not heard about is the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott. And, of course, he's, he had a hell of a bad week. So his, uh, the reason he's nominated is because he came out and is now lifting all the mask mandates that they have as a state, and they're reopening fully with no restrictions. It's been a very rough three weeks for Texans right now, and this is going to make it way rougher, man. Now, to be fair, a lot of other states already don't have any restrictions in place and don't have a mask mandate. So he's not unique in this, but it is crazy to me that like he thinks it's a good idea right now to like just lift everything. And this is a terrible idea. It is, in my opinion, negligent genocide. Thousands more people will get sick Thousands more will probably die. If not, hundreds, definitely, probably thousands more Texans will die because of this. Um, and it, of course, prolongs the pandemic. The more that we open up, guys, the longer the pandemic's going to go on. And it doesn't matter um, how much vaccine we can produce. As I said in an earlier video, you're never going to get herd immunity in America because not enough people are going to take the vaccine. And if you do, it'll take decades. So... It's not going to solve a thing, and us reopening instead of locking down is just going to prolong everything. And I, right now, I'm tempted to say that if Biden does not do some sort of like national lockdown or get real tough on these governors to force lockdowns, I'm saying over a million people are going to die while Biden's in office. And it's probably going to be quite a bit more than that, too. I think that COVID will still be a thing two or three years from now, probably four years from now in America. Um, it'll be less of a thing, but it'll still be killing hundreds of thousands of people a year. So, um, the shithead of the week is, drumroll, Kirsten Cinema. Down you go, bitch. Um, this is probably going to end her career. I hope it does. She, there are people that can run against her in Arizona and win. Um, it's an overwhelmingly popular issue in Arizona, the $15 minimum wage, and she said she's more in, in favor of like what, a, like a $12 minimum wage. Well, um, we'll see what your constituents have to say about that, and when they absolutely kill you when you're up for re-election, this is why. And it's super easy to beat her too. Just cut this, that little curtsy into an ad that's 15 seconds long. She, Kirsten Cinema. Uh, didn't want you to have a $15 minimum wage. I do. Here's her voting happily down the $15 minimum wage, and you've just poll-axed her. She's done. <laughs> you just killed her killed her campaign and just hammer it home. She should be done. Everybody that voted against it should, should be done as well in the Senate. Um, we can definitely take down at least a couple of them with primary challenges. And they're giving us plenty of ammunition. Kirsten Cinema was trending for a reason. 
she's lucky that this country isn't like the French Revolution. Let's just put it that way. Now, I want to give one shout out. There is uh, one person in the House that seems to be on board with my idea of voting against this bill because it just doesn't do enough. But all of the squad seems basically on board uh, according to their Twitter accounts. But on the Rational National, David Dole, thank you, David. Um, check him out on YouTube if you haven't already subscribed. Um, he mentioned that Bonnie Watson Coleman in the House, a representative, has been outwardly against this bill because it's just too weak. And she, it might just be, you know, theater. Um, she wants to get recognition for being the one that stands or the one that steps up and does the right thing here. But who knows if it'll translate to a vote. And one vote is not enough to include the $15 minimum wage. You have to have six, six or more. And the squad have the numbers. Like I said in an earlier video, if they voted as a block, they can insist on the $15 minimum wage being in there. But bravo to Bonnie Watson Coleman for at least being vocal about it. Hopefully, she will stand her ground. And hopefully, once that domino kind of falls, the, you know, four or five other ones will go and they'll stick together. And then maybe we can get some good additions as we kind of renegotiate this bill. Um, but Greg Abbott, Kirsten Cinema, get fucked. You guys suck so much. Um, keep it up, Kirsten. If you want to uh, lose badly, keep doing what you're doing. Um, and I want to also make a special mention that Joe Manchin could have easily been in here again, but since he basically just did what Kirsten Cinema did, but he didn't do the same curtsy thing and wasn't trending and stuff, I'm giving the edge to Cinema this week when it normally could be Joe Manchin who also voted against the bill. So keep fighting the good fight out there. Uh, Jerk of the week is Kirsten Cinema. Let her have it, guys. Let's drag some people. See ya.